What's up guys and welcome to a new video. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Toby, I'm 25 years old and yeah, welcome to my channel. I know the last weeks I was not posting um, consistently because I'm at the moment in Bali and I try to learn new skills, I'm experimenting a little bit with my video styles, learning more things, connecting with new people and so on. But I try to make now a YouTube video every week or every one and a half weeks again. And if you want to see more from my daily life, just go to my Instagram, I will link it here. And yeah, today I want to talk to you about the important topic for me and it's called home. Where is my home or where do I want to live? And if you watched my last videos, you know that I moved one year ago from Austria to a complete foreign country, to Nepal, to live there with Buddhist monks in a Buddhist monastery in front of the Himalayas. And I have to say, it was the best decision I could ever make. And since then I also visited the Philippines for some skydiving and now I'm here in Bali. And because I have to go soon back to Europe to finish some things and quit my permanent residence there to me to move completely away and to don't have to pay taxes anymore and to be done with Europe I was thinking about where is my home where do I want to live and so on and because I know that a lot of people come to Nepal to find their why or to have a spiritual experience and so on I wanted to talk to you about this is Nepal maybe better than Bali let's see of all the countries I've been to, Nepal and Bali fascinated me the most. Because these two countries, the, the people, the nature, the vibe, how the people treat you, what the countries or the, the place has to offer, it's just breath breathtaking. And yeah, I just like the vibes and maybe that sounds strange now what I have to say, but Nepal and Bali are actually quite similar. And you might think now, okay, that's strange because like Bali is like this tropical island in Indonesia and Nepal is like this small country in the middle of uh, India and China and surrounded with mountains. Yes, I know, but I'm talking about the vibe, I'm talking about the culture, I'm talking about these wonderful people. You know, because both of these places have Hinduism as main religion and in Hinduism they have all day the small ritual, rituals, what makes them really grounded, grateful and so on. And you can feel it because they treat you exactly like this. They are really kind, they are really helpful and so on. But before I go on, I want to show you how both of these countries look like.
I love Nepal because it has changed my life, to be honest. And I'm looking forward to come back to Nepal sooner than you think, guys. And people who are searching their why or they feel lost and have no clue what to do with their life, I would say go to Nepal. I know a lot of people say, oh, go to Bali, this is a spiritual island where you find your answers and so on. No, it's not like this, guys. You know, like in Bali, I love this, I love this island and everything is really nice, but there's also like this big influencer culture where you just have to, to look perfect and these perfect pictures and you see all this stuff on Instagram and so on. And there's a lot of spiritual bullshit. So if you want to find your why, go to Nepal. Because Nepal is still very authentic and Nepal is different. It has this different vibe. It's like authentic and it calms you down the mountains. It's like the mountains are calling you, you know, and it's like this crazy energy, this crazy war nature, this wild place where everything works different, you know? Every time when there's something strange in Nepal, I just say, it's Nepal, you know, it's like Nepali vibe. And you know, Nepal is raw and wild, and the mountains, they give you this special vibe, this crazy energy. And to be honest, like Nepal, for me, it was not easy because I was confronted with all my past, with all my fear, and there's no place to hide. It is like the mountains tell you, get your stuff together and go on, you know. These mountains can be very overwhelming, but also they can heal you. And with all these people and this old culture, guys, I get goosebumps from it sometimes because this place is special, really. And I do believe that Nepal will develop in the next years similar like Bali, because the people will figure out that stuff what I'm telling you now. But I hope and I also guess that it's going to happen not so fast like here in Bali and hopefully in a different way. And you know it's crazy when you think about Bali, everything, everybody talks the whole time about all these beautiful rice terraces in Bali and this waterfall and so on. But guys, to be honest, one of the most beautiful rice fields I saw was in Nepal. Also the waterfalls, crazy. And it's not cold in Nepal, it's like same temperatures in Bali, you know. So you don't have to go to Bali to see this stunning rice fields. Go to Nepal and also there are no people. And you know what the other crazy thing is? When you sit in Nepal in the jungle, like that same next to Pokhara, you sit in the jungle, it is like 25 degrees, you can wear a t-shirt, everything is warm and really nice, and you watch the stunning, massive, seven, eight thousand meter mountains and watch the snowstorms over there. Like, that's crazy, you never have this at a different place on the earth. So this is like just boom, mind blowing. And all of this, it doesn't mean that Bali is a bad place or it's like you shouldn't go there. No, I also love Bali, same as Nepal, but it is different. And when you have to calm down and find your why, go to Nepal, not to Bali. Let's be honest. But let's, kinda, let's go to the good things about Bali. You know, Bali, just wow. When I'm in Bali, it's my second time here, I always meet people and we build these cool friendships, we start to create things together, you get like this cool energy from them, you know, the supportive stuff and it is like you meet the right people to the right time in Bali and you build like friendships and they will last forever because you experience these crazy adventures together, this, you go to these crazy places and when you are like a content creator or a videograph like, like I am, then it's just cool to have people with a similar mindset, with the same dreams and so on around you. It's a completely different thing. In Europe, I don't have that. You know how many people are laughing about the stuff I'm doing now in Europe? My old friends? It's crazy. And here everybody's just supportive and tells you, hey, this is great, or you can do this better, this better, or let's do a project together and so on. So when it comes to, comes to terms like this, just Bam. These people I met here, met here, it's just the dream as big as I am. 
there is no limitation. I can do everything. There is no limit. The sky is not the limit. There's all the time the universe, guys. And yeah. And also like in Bali, you know, it's like it has this different energy of the volcanoes and the green and the jungle and the ocean. <sighs> nice. Just nice. What I also have to say, you know, Bali is a place where you can also like say for a few days or a few weeks I just relax. I want to have good food, I want to go to fancy restaurants, I want to go surfing and so on. And for this, this place is perfect, you know. And I love it, because after Nepal I was like, okay, I have to, to connect with people again, I want to go to good restaurant again, a little bit of my western luxury guys, and so on, and there's Bali the perfect place for it. But it was, what I also have to say, you know, like, Bali, at the moment there are too much people. <laughs> it's crazy, like, I was here five years ago, and it was crazy, but not so crazy as now, like the traffic and everything, no, don't. And you know, sometimes all the people here are just, it's just like, who is the best, who has the most money, and so on, and that can be a little bit annoying. And when you are searching for your why, or you want to find yourself, it's not a good place, let's be honest. And now, uh, another important thing is, you know, Bali, it's really expensive now. And not that expensive like Europe, but it is expensive and Nepal is the cheapest country I ever was let's be honest like sometimes it's shocking how cheap it is so when it comes in terms of costs Nepal is the winner sorry Bali so if you have not a big budget but you want to have like a country where you can find your why where you have a spiritual experience and so on Go to Nepal, guys. You can also write me on Instagram or write me a mail and so on when you need tips, when you need help, when you need contacts. Just write me and we'll figure out how you can plan your trip the best or if I can support you in any way and so on. Just reach out to me and I will help you. But anyways, I love the vibe here. I love it to meditate on the beach in the morning, to watch these crazy sunsets in the ocean, to get a good coconut and so on so yeah Bali and Nepal these are my places these are the place what I can call truly home you know in Europe I never felt like home I was always like I don't belong here the people around me yeah the most you can call friends but it turns out that they're not really friends because a lot turned away, unfollowed me, make jokes, and so on. And that's okay, you know? Because I always knew that I was born for something bigger and I, I want to break out of this golden cage in Europe and I did it last year. And now things changing fast and a lot and sometimes I can't even recognize so fast that I'm developing so fast because I'm so close to my own life, you know, guys? And that's crazy sometimes. But yeah. So, this is the places what I will call home for the next years, I guess. And that's the thing. I'm going now back to Europe in a couple of days and I will quit my permanent residence there. I will quit everything um, and go back to Nepal, guys. <laughs> and also start my business and so on. I will help people, I found my why, I'm here to help people, to inspire people, to tell everybody dream as big as possible, there's no, it makes no sense to dream small. So guys, yeah, I hope you like this video, I hope you can support me to share this video, to like this video to follow me on Instagram, to get more inspiration, to see how my daily life is going on, to see my adventures and so on. And for all my Nepali friends guys, give me two or three months and I'm back in Nepal. Just write me, I would love to meet some of my friends again and to go on new adventures, to meet also one of my followers like you. And yeah guys. Just thank you that you're supporting me so big on this YouTube journey to make this everything possible. 
I also have to say like, you know, I grew from zero to 1,900 subscribers in three months. So thank you for that. The people here told me that's not normal. Normally you need for that amount, one year, one and a half years. I made it in three months. So guys, dream big, go for your goals. Thank you for watching and I hope I see you the next time guys. Have a nice day.